Hey, welcome to Zack Tector and Gaming on Sunday morning, which is my series where you guys know what I do every single Sunday morning, just like today. I'm gonna be playing a game with you guys, and this week I couldn't really decide on what I'm gonna be playing. If you guys are following me on social media at Zack Tector on Twitter or Instagram, then you'll pretty much know that I've played nothing but NBA 2K18. I actually fully reviewed that game la in last week's episode. So I didn't want to really play the same game back to back, so I kind of looked at my games and figured what could I play, and I saw that the new Autumn update just came out to Rocket League, and I don't think I've ever played Rocket League for you guys, so we're going to check out what the Autumn update is all about. This isn't going to be re a review. Most of you guys know what Rocket League is, and if you don't, well then you'll find out really soon. I just realized that I don't have a drink, but make sure you guys let me know in the comment section what you're sipping on. And before we actually get into the gameplay of this, let's look at the Autumn Update, because you might not be familiar with that if you've if you've taken a little break from Rocket League. So, real quickly, it's actually a pretty solid update. It just came out yesterday, and it brings five new arenas. I've actually played on uh, Wasteland, which is pretty cool, Champions Field, which is my favorite, and DFH Stadium. I think I've played on those three so far. I really want to play on the snowy one, but I haven't even got that one yet. But Champions Field just looks amazing. The picture doesn't really do it justice. Maybe we'll get that today. But there's this new seasonal arena event, I think, called Farmstead. I don't know anything about the, like the Rocket League events and whatnot. I haven't seen anything for this, so maybe I'm just a noob. Speaking of which, I am a Rocket League noob, so I hope you're not watching this video uh, for like tips and trips, tips and tricks, because I'm really not that good at this game. Um, they they promise with this update they're going to be doing more events, and they even introduced uh, a decryptor, which, as you guys know, there's a bunch of crates like the new accelerator crate, which you can see right here. And you can't just open the crates, which I'm not a big fan of. You have to buy a key. But now you can get a decryptor from playing the seasonal events, which is pretty cool. There's a couple uh, different crate items, like different cars that you can unlock. I'm not going to go through them all and whatnot. But uh, there's a new battle car, the, pretty much a Jaguar, Jagger. Uh, and then there's player banners, which now whenever you score a goal or whatnot it shows you your player banner here and you can unlock a bunch of these through loot crates and stuff which is actually pretty cool and of course season six began and the cool part that i really like is transparent goal posts so this picture right here is if like you're in the goal you can actually see around the corner there um, instead of that just being like a solid wall that you couldn't see before and that's on every map so it's really cool there's there's a director's mode blah 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 a bunch of free items and land support which doesn't really affect me especially out here in my deployment but uh maybe some of you people maybe some of you people are interested in that so let's just jump into a game right here uh i should mention i mean i kind of already did but yeah i'm not good at rocket league so I would love for you guys to take the time to post in the comment section uh, how I can get better. Uh, you're going to see here for competitive play. I haven't been placed for Season 6 yet, but I believe I did enough placement matches for um, like a couple seasons ago or something. I'm just going to go into 3v3 standard here. But yeah, I, I don't think I've ever even been in silver. I'm pretty much bronze if I recall correctly. I'm not that good, so uh, try not to cringe when you watch this gameplay you probably will though so here we're just waiting i hope you guys like this new setup here i'm just gonna ramble while we wait to find a match um i got this army uh blanket behind me so hopefully that doesn't that's not as distracting as last week when i was like in my bunk bed and whatnot the only problem with this setup is i have to use a controller i don't have any spot to put my mouse and whatnot but uh looks like we're joining a game here in three two one and Bam. All right. So make sure you guys also let me know if you guys are playing Rocket League. I don't know how popular it is these days, but uh, all right, here we go. So it looks like I'm going to be in the goal and I'm going to defend a little bit. And oh, how was that not a save? I saved the heck out of that. Okay. All right. Now I am only playing. Oh, it says my internet's bad, right? That had to have been a save too. Come on now. What it, what is that logo down there that says about my oh I'm connected to my VPN I think 
Yeah, I'm still connected to my VPN by accident, so it doesn't look like I'm lagging too- Oh, wow, 600 milliseconds of lag. That is not good. All right, let, we're going to try- We're going to- It doesn't look that bad. Actually, it looks kind of bad, but it looks like maybe I can get a goal here because it looks like the opponent isn't playing. But uh, if the lag gets too bad- Oh, yeah, there it is. Oh, lag- oh. Yeah, that lag is really bad. Okay, so we're going to quit out of this game. And I think I'm just going to keep you guys here with me. And I'm not going to stop the video. We're going to go back to my desktop here. And turn off my VPN. Rocket League closes. Oh, no, it didn't. Okay, now we'll play. How about it? Alright, play online. Yeah, that... Uh, whenever I'm using some like important banking websites or whatnot, I always have to connect to my VPN out here just because I don't know who's using the internet or who's tracking the internet out here. And the VPN is obviously way slower, especially for gaming. There's not too many VPNs you can game with, but uh, I should try and invest in one because I would prefer to be on a VPN this whole time. But that, that wasn't too bad. 600 millisecond ping. I mean, you can't really do much for... Rocket League, that's awful, but uh, overall, that's not too bad. But okay, now here we are. What's our ping at now? 24. Okay, no excuses. Let's start this up. Okay, that other match though looked like there were some bad players. I mean, I'm a bad player, but if I think a player's bad, then they were probably awful. So, uh, okay, so let's play this here. Now, the type of there was a point in time when I actually thought I was good at Rocket League. Oh, oh. Damn it! There was a point in time where I actually thought I was good at Rocket League, and then I came to the Reddit for Rocket League and realized how many strategies. Oh, watch this. That's a goal. Give it to me. Bang! Oh, man, I love that I got that on camera. That's awesome. Oh, and see, look at the banner down there. Too tall. Semi pro. That's just like a common banner that I unlocked. Oh, that's nothing special. I don't even think that's rare or anything. But yeah, there's a point in time when I actually thought I was good at Rocket League, and then I came to the Reddit and realized that there's all sorts of like two-in-one rotations or like, um, oh, that's not good. And you can pretty much tell that I'm not good at Rocket League. I know I've said that multiple times already. But uh, yeah, so we're just going to keep playing this. Um, I, other than Rocket League and NBA 2K18, obviously, I was thinking about playing the Call of Duty World War 2 beta. Uh, you guys might know that if you're watching this video go live, I think the beta will still be... That guy just scored on us, on himself. This is an awful game so far. But uh, yeah, the Call of Duty World War 2 beta is now open and I've only played one match of it, believe it or not. You guys know I'm a sucker for Call of Duty and I've only got one match. The match was awful. Now, I am definitely not a Call of Duty trasher. I, I would per, if Call of Duty would thrive on the PC, I wouldn't play many other games. Like that's the only game. Oh, please don't judge that. Um, I would play very little games if Call of Duty was successful on the PC, but unfortunately, it's not, and it's plagued by lack of popularity. I keep missing uh, optimization issues, especially with the Modern Warfare remaster. And this one, now I've only played one game, so like I definitely don't have a uh, good ground to go off of. But uh, the one game I did play, I was playing the game for like, I don't know, five to six minutes before I realized that there was only two people on my team versus like six or something of the other team. And that's terrible. That's typical Call of Duty where like you can't find matches. And this is the beta, like this is when you have the most hype. So, I don't know what happened with that. And then I was also plagued with. Oh! That's not good. See? Dang. Um, it was also plagued with, uh, like, optimization issues. Like, it just wasn't running that well. As you guys know, I'm gaming currently. Uh, during my deployment with my Dell XPS 15, which only has a GTX 1050 in it. But, that's, I mean, that's obviously enough. Um, and it was just, I was just having some issues, so I'm gonna play around with it during the beta, see what it's all about, and 
Okay, ever since that goal, I've been playing like crap. Alright, here we go. Oh, there's my chance! Wow, what a save. They didn't even give him the save. What's up with that? Bang him. Okay, here we go. Not good. Not good. Not good. Ball, there we go. Way to center it. Alright, here we go. Ooh! Thought that was gonna go in for a second. But yeah, so I gotta give the Call of Duty World War II beta another try. If I... I don't think I'm gonna put it on a gaming on a set. That was a good shot, actually. But, uh... I don't think I'm going to play it, put it on my gaming on Sunday morning, just because I'm going to, no matter what, I'm probably going to buy it. So I'm definitely going to put the final release in November on the channel. So I don't want to put it like that close together here in almost October, or it will be October by the time you guys watch this video. So, uh, oh no, that's not good. Dang it. Two to three. All right. So we started off strong. Now we're looking like crap. That guy's got a pretty cool banner with the flames there. I wonder if he bought it or that's how he unlocked it. I have no idea. Okay, so I'm he's defending, so I'm gonna go over here and see what happens. Oh So what map is this? This is not a new map if I recall. That was awful. Um I think this Oh no, wait, this is is this the farmstead? We got the tree in the back behind me here. Watch this. Oh, Oh, that should have been an assist if anyone was playing. I don't know where they went. Oh, here we go. That's not good. That's not good. I would have saved that man. Thanks, though. I think I would have missed. Oh, that's not good either. How did they get so high like that? All right, here we go. Got the ball on their, their side. Oh, right, here we go. Bam, watch this. Oh, you son of a... I had that. Somebody just said great pass. I think he was passing it to me. Somebody messed up my shot. Boom, there's a, what do they call it? Destruction or something? Ooh, that's not good. Um, dang it. Two to four. This is not good. I have to debate if I want to play one or two games. I have no idea how long this video is going. I think I'm just going to play this one game. Because you probably aren't enjoying too much my lack of skill, and I'm starting to run out of things to talk about here. So, other than that, other than Rocket League here, the deployment is going pretty well. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that video that I just released on... There's a good... Bang! That, uh, that video I just released last week on Monday, or this week, I guess, on Monday. Um, the video about the... the, uh, or the like, eight-year-old laptop the GT 660 I would highly recommend you guys go check out that video basically I paid eleven hundred dollars for a massive beast of a gaming laptop back in 2010 and I decided to test it out with some 2017 gaming and it was actually a really fun video to make and I think it's a pretty solid video bang look at that I love when we score from the very beginning somebody said holy cow nice job Casper look at this bang off the bounce too and off the goal post that was beautiful all right i'll do the same thing nope not from back here all right do it again the other guy's got it you got this i'll play d or i don't even know what defense means but yeah that video was really good um the laptops performed surprisingly well and i would definitely check that out if you haven't um, I've mentioned my Dell XPS 15 already, but if you are interested in that, I have a video on this Dell XPS 15 has a GTX 1050 in it, and some people, I always see the question, like, is a GTX 1050 enough for gaming, especially in 2017? And it's certain, I'm gonna get a goal. Nope. I ran out of boost. Three to five. Can we do it in six seconds? I don't think we are. But yeah, the GTX 1050 is more than capable. Here you can see, especially with lighter titles like Rocket League, that I can play. That's just fine. There were a couple hiccups, but no big deal. So let's see where I was on the scoreboard. I don't think it's good. Oh, there's another banner. That's what I want. Wow, I was number one on the scoreboard with 210 with one goal and one shot. That is absolutely awful. I didn't realize how bad my... Casper's an AI. Are you kidding me? That's terrible. I didn't know we were playing with AI. Okay, I got to get out of here. That's brutal. See, it looks like every game does that, then not just Call of Duty. That really makes me upset. I thought Casper was somebody that I was actually playing with. 
He didn't play that bad. He got a goal. Better than the other guy, I guess. All right. So, yeah, that's that's Rocket League. That's the autumn update. Um, I really like the transparent goalposts and the new maps for sure. And the player banners. Hopefully, I can get my hands on some of those decryptors because I think... Let me check here. I think I have some crates that I haven't unlocked for from a while ago. Yeah, Turbo, Champions. I don't know what those crates mean, but I, they're probably from a long time ago. I haven't played Rocket League, so for a long time so yeah that's gonna wrap up this video make sure you guys let me know in the comment section what game you want to see me play next i'm kind of struggling here these next couple months are going to be insane for pc gaming i think forza is going to be next weekend but like in between all these new games i don't really have any small games unless you guys just want me to play like csgo rocket league like all the popular ones let me know in the comment section i hope you guys enjoyed this video please drop a like down below to help support my channel and as always thank you for watching please subscribe for more zach's tech turf videos